Hera was originally owned by JSC's Engineering Directorate, where it was known as the Habitat Demonstration Unit, or HDU. Since then, Hera has accommodated many campaigns of varying durations, including multiple science studies. Analogs acquired the unit in 2013, at which time it was relocated to JSC's Building 220 and renamed the Human Exploration Research Analog, or HERA. HERA's mission is to simulate long-duration spaceflight, where the habitat emulates the space vessel. All science and operational tasks will collect research data on the physiological and psychological effects of confinement and team interactions. Starting with the traditional bell ceremony, our crew enters the habitat for the duration of their mission. The crew goes through a selection process that chooses astronaut-like candidates. Welcome to HERA Mission Control, the command center for all HERA operations. MCC Polaris, good morning. It is mission day 13. We hope you had a great night's sleep and we wish you a fantastic day today. Let us know if you need any help. Every morning the crew wakes up to a song from their playlist. consists of a commander, a flight engineer, and two mission specialists. In the morning, the crew dons their wearables. There are specific wearables for each HERA campaign. The variety of devices worn by each crew member provides data to different principal investigators for their studies. The data types collected can include information such as biological, psychological, and social measures. Food for the entire mission is stored in the habitat. Crew members work together to prepare shelf-stable food items carefully selected by the NASA nutritionist. The crew follows a menu that includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a variety of snacks. Foods are rehydrated at the galley prep station. has capabilities to simulate deep space emergencies, which the crew can be subjected to at any time. The emergencies can include a variety of scenarios based on events that can occur in space flight. The crew has access to a variety of tools, replacement parts, and a 3D printer to resolve off-nominal situations that can occur during the mission. In this emergency, the crew analyzes the readouts from the habitat support system to diagnose the anomaly, then proceeds with the repair. The habitat has basic hygiene facilities with limited space and privacy. 
The crew shares one sink, one shower, and one toilet. follows a timeline for science and operational activities. These tasks include analyzing plant biology, animal biology, microbiology, and the use of the glove box for any samples that require special handling. Daily exercise is part of the crew's routine. Cardio can be performed on the cycle ergometer and resistance exercise with the adjustable hand weights. The crew has some downtime between science and operational activities and can relax with games, books, and movies. Private conferences occur in the airlock where the crew member is isolated from the rest of the crew. In addition to providing a space for private conferences, the airlock is also used for completing specific tasks and tool storage used for habitat maintenance. HERA is equipped with an extensive virtual reality system called the MMSEV or Multi-Mission Space Exploration Vehicle. The pilot and co-pilot fly the vehicle to a site and release the EVA crew from the spaceship to explore the surface of an extraterrestrial body where they perform simulated surface operations. This activity is a crew favorite. MCC, this is MMSEV. We are preparing to undock at 1325. Copy. During docking at 1345. With MSEV, this is MCC, you have a go for undocked. EVA, this is MMSEV, we have undocked. EVA Red, Alpha 1 commencing. EVA Green, Alpha 2 commencing. MCC, this is MMSEV. We have arrived at Site C and we are preparing the airlock. EVA, this is MMSEV. We are at Site C. You will notice that the airlock doors are starting to open. Copy MMSCV, you have arrived at Site Charlie and you have prepared the airlock. As the mission progresses, a communication delay between MCC and the crew is implemented to simulate the vessel's distance from Earth. At night, the crew doffs the wearables before heading to their bunks on L3.
Research applications from the data collected during HERA campaigns will continue to be invaluable to NASA's pursuit of manned space exploration.